Hello world, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am what is considered a targeted individual. What that means is that uh, for whatever reasons and to whatever circumstance uh, I have been used, chosen for, and subject to human experimentation. I was given Morgellons disease, whatever that is, some kind of nano bio uh, weaponized machine technology. Uh, we were put through MK Ultra style, you know, three or so years of uh, large doses of hallucinogenic, hypnotic, and God knows what other kind of drugs. We were irradiated and poisoned and electrocuted and, you know, run through the gamut of uh, gang stalking and the whole thing, all the attacks, electromagnetic and, and otherwise. Um, I am dying from this treatment. I'm finally, you know, my body is giving up. It's deteriorating to the point uh, where I'm getting very sick. You know, I've been I've been throwing up for years because of this thing. I've been, um, you know, all the collagen coming out of my face and I'm weak and I don't I don't sleep. First, I was given you know I don't know man they they burn you out they they burns you out they they keep you awake for years awake you know awake without sleep complete and total insomnia awake stimulated hyper stimulated for years until you finally end up with like adrenal burnout and chronic fatigue syndrome and you know depression uh, panic attacks anxiety attacks um we went through this the whole gamut of the crazy stuff shooting out of our head literally that that's a really interesting story we had little gray objects uh, about a you know like let's see where's my hand here uh doesn't do much good but you know about an inch or so and they would shoot up in the air out of our heads about every seven and a half to eleven minutes I love telling this story because it was really just incredible. Um, every seven and a half to eleven minutes, these little gray objects would shoot out of our tops of our heads. I would sit there with the video camera recording and holding it there, and they would go up in the air. They would grow in the air. They would get a little bit larger, and they would fall down to the ground. And when they hit the ground, they would change uh, color to match the surroundings as though they were mimetically camouflaged you know they were the encephalopodic uh, I don't know the name of the, the molecule that makes the the octopus change color to match its surroundings but that is what these little objects did and uh, they were sort of spongy uh, and when you put them in the toilet or in water they would expand um, they look sort of like little seashells or something. I, I don't know. These things were all over the, the neighborhood where we lived, where we walked. We went every day to this uh, medical program, methadone program. Um, they were involved. It, it, these things were everywhere. Um, my, my story is so complex and so intermingled and so messed up with my memory is impeded. My thought processes are impeded. Anyway, you know, that's why I bounce around so much. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I'm not working from a script. Um, anyway, the, the biggest reason I wanted to make this video uh, was... Well, there's many reasons, but uh, I was answering a viewer's comment yesterday. They were like, aren't you afraid that, that by talking about these things and making these videos, they're going to torture you more? And I'm like, yes, yes, I'm afraid they're going to torture me more. In fact, they do torture me more. And I just, uh, now, like last night, I was going to make a video, and they turned up this fucking beam in my head. Uh, so loud, this high frequency was screaming, painful, sickness, death. Uh, I believe, you know, that either this technology, 
you know, it's incapacitating electromagnetic microwave hearing technology, whatever, that it's coupled with the Morgellons somehow. Hold on, I got a phone call. Hello? Yes. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Okay, I'll be right there. I'll see you. Yes, I'll be fine. I'll see you in a minute. I gotta go. Uh, see ya.